Hello there all, my name is Kate and welcome, welcome to this channel. Today we're going to visit one of my absolute most favorite cities in the world, Helsinki. This video will tell you a little bit about the history of Helsinki and I will share with you the 10 most interesting, exciting sites to visit here in Helsinki. So top 10 of Helsinki. And a little bit about history. Helsinki was originally established as a trading town by King Gustav I of Sweden in 1550. It was known as town of Helsingfors, which was intended to be a rival to a nearby city, Rival, which today we know is Tallinn. And number one on our list of top things to do and places to visit in Helsinki would be Helsinki Railway Station. Since Helsinki's original central station from 1860 couldn't quite keep up with ever-growing traffic, in 1904 there was held a competition to decide on the new design of the building. The winner was Finnish-American architect Elio Saarinen. Original design was actually in National Romantic style, however later he embraced Art Nouveau in which the building was designed. Finnish granite covers of new Helsinki central station, a tall clock tower and the two giant lantern carriers shape the imposing beautiful facade. This railway station is considered to be one of the most beautiful in the world. And number two on our list of top 10 in Helsinki would be Helsinki Cathedral. The tall green dome is a landmark that soars above Helsinki city line and can be seen from the waters of harbor at night and it seemed to shine like a beacon. Whatever your reason for visiting Helsinki, this gorgeous neoclassical cathedral is a must-see. It was built in mid-19th century and at the time was called St. Nicholas Cathedral in honor of Russian Tsar Nicholas I. After Finland independence, however, in 1917, it was simply named Helsinki Cathedral. This cathedral remained one of the city's most impressive landmarks since its construction. It is located on the northern end of Senate Square. It's a Lutheran cathedral, features all white neoclassical facade with five green domes. You can also see the statues of 12 apostles decorating the roof. The Senate Square that we're standing on was designed by Carl Ludwig Engel. It is a unique allegory of political, religious, scientific and commercial powers of center of Helsinki. Senate Square and its surroundings make up the oldest part of central Helsinki. Landmarks of famous buildings surrounding square include Helsinki Cathedral itself, Government Palace, Building of University of Helsinki, and Setterholm House. That's the oldest building of central Helsinki that dates back to 1757. Number three on our list of places to visit is Esplanadi, known to locals as simply Espa. It's a beautiful patch of green space right in the middle of the city, a place where tourists and Helsinki residents come to enjoy leisurely strolls, have picnics, relax, and oftentimes can be entertained. During the Christmas season, there are a lot of uh, live music performances performances and beautifully decorated streets with Christmas lights. In July, Aspa is famous for Jazz Aspa, month-long jazz festival. This gorgeous urban park was designed by architect Carl Ludwig Engel. It was originally opened in 1818 and in 1827 Engels Theater or theater was the first theater building in Helsinki. Also was designed by Engel. In the center of the park you will find a statue of Johann Ludwig Runeberg, is a national poet of Finland and it was erected by his son Walter Runeberg. And number four in our list is Penske Cathedral. After Helsinki was made into a capital of Finland in 1812, Alexander I decreed in 1814 that 15 percent of sold import tax were to be collected into a fund for two churches, one Lutheran and one Orthodox. However, the construction of Spanski Cathedral was still largely funded by parishioners and private donors. It was completed in six years 
in 1868. It is the largest Orthodox church in Western Europe. Its red brick towers and golden cupolas or domes truly bring it charm. There's a gorgeous iconostasis with a set of beautiful paintings depicting Virgin Mary and an array of other saints. And number five on our list of places to visit in Helsinki is the Old Market Hall. It is open from Monday to Saturday. It has been around since 1889. Before then, there had never been a permanent building for Helsinki's market and all of the markets were held open air in the squares. It's a strikingly beautiful Byzantine revival building, definitely worth checking out even if you're not hungry and not in the need of shopping. But trust me, if you do enter, you'll probably be tempted by something there because there's a huge variety of great food, be it meat, fish, fruit, vegetables, cakes or cheeses or what have you. All of it is really, really tasty. You can eat right there or buy something to go. And number six on our list is Market Square, located at the South Harbor at one end of the Esplanade Park. Market Square is Helsinki's most international, famous and beloved markets. The booths here sell both traditional market foods and also some more international treats. Uh, they also sell handicrafts and souvenirs. Helsinki's Baltic Herring Market is one of the oldest ongoing events arranged here every October. It has been held here since 1743. There's also a ferry connection to Suomenlinna Fortress Island from the Market Square year-round. So if you're planning to visit it, this is a good place to get to the ferry. In regards to history, the most interesting aspect of the square is the Stone of the Empress. In the middle of the market square, it's the oldest public memorial in Helsinki, and it was erected to commemorate the first visit of Empress Alexander. She was a German-born wife of Nicholas I, and it was erected in 1835. The memorial has the obelisk cut from the red granite, bronze globe, and the two-headed eagle on top of it. And number seven on our list is Helsinki Design Museum. It's the only museum I'm recommending, not that there are not plenty of other museums to visit, but this is the one that I was particularly interested in. Going back to the post-war Helsinki, uh, the city embraced cutting-edge architecture and design. I love Finnish design, be it interior or exterior design. If you're not into it, you probably don't know it enough. <laughs> Check it out, you might like it. The Design Museum here documents Finnish architecture and design over the last 150 years. Number eight in our list of top 10 places to visit in Helsinki would be Fotser Cafe. Fotser today is one of the largest corporations in Finnish food industry. The company was founded by Karl Otto Fotser in 1891. The very first coffee shop was actually French-Russian confectionery in central Helsinki. Today it employs over 10,000 people across Finland, Sweden, Russia, Denmark, Norway, Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, and even Japan. Its products are exported to almost 40 countries. Karl Otto Fotzer was a Finnish businessman and a sports shooter. He was born in Helsinki to a Swiss family of immigrants. Fotzer's most notable product is a classic Fotzer Blue. It's a milk chocolate, widely regarded in Finland as the most respected brand and part of Finnish cultural heritage and cuisine. Fotzer started baking in Berlin, Paris, St. Petersburg before becoming a pioneer of Finnish confectionery. Together with his wife Berta, he opened French-Russian confectionery in Helsinki in 1891, as we pointed out. It was a huge success. People loved it. Today you can still enjoy something <laughs> that has been in tradition in Finland for over, over 100, close to 150 years. The place is just stunning. There are a lot of things to buy. Souvenirs, a lot to eat, a lot to try, great coffee, great hot chocolate if you're into that, and just great food. Number nine of worthy places to visit is Alexanterin Kato. It's a beautiful street. The street colloquially known in Helsinki is Alexei. It was named after Emperor Alexander I of Russia in 1833. 
Alexander in Katu in Helsinki historically was always a main street, whose eastern part was originally named Surkatu in Swedish Storgatan, meaning Grand Street, and Kuninkankatu in Swedish Kungskatan, meaning King's Street. The street had intense traffic, because of this the very first traffic lights in Helsinki were actually installed here shortly before the Olympics in 1952. It's a gorgeous street with beautiful architecture, great shopping, coffee shops, certainly worth a visit. Number 10, modern architecture of Helsinki. I'm a big fan of traditional old architecture examples in Helsinki. They're plentiful and they're gorgeous. My personal favorite is neoclassical style, and there's a lot of it here, as well as Art Nouveau. So certainly you will have a lot to see if you're into that. But if you are also, as myself, into modern architecture, Helsinki will have a lot to offer. The newest addition to Helsinki's modern contemporary architecture skyline is the Library of Future. That's one of my favorite buildings here. It's located in the middle of cultural quarters called Audi Library. It's entirely, almost entirely public space. I love the design of the building. The surrounding area it was built in 2019 i really like the mixture of wood and glass it has the warmth but it also has i don't know structure to it and modern feel uh, the combination of materials and colors is really pretty and i love the curves the curves are truly stunning in this building And another of the modern buildings that I would highly recommend to visit is the 2012, one of the smallest projects, the tiny Campy Chapel. And you can recognize immediately it from afar because of the round shape, light materials, colors, and predominantly wood. It sort of reminds me a little bit of the sauna. <laughs> I love the place. I think it's lovely. And the idea of design of a place is lovely because the it's sort of like a meditation quarters or something of that nature you can go there and be quiet peaceful haven away from the hustle and bustle of the city no wonder that helsinki was named as a uh, design capital of europe in 2012 i truly believe it is well deserved So, yeah, there's a lot to do in Helsinki, a lot to see, so I would certainly recommend visiting it in any season. Uh, summer may be easier, but winter is also charming, so make your pick. Visit, let me know how you liked it. Thank you so much for joining me for today. That would be all that I wanted to share with you. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to put the like. Thank you so much for joining and have a great day.